Hello, how are you today? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your very first time you're coming across my video, you're very welcome. My name is Billy, or you can call me Auntie Billy. I do DIYs, I talk about relatable issues, and I talk about personal development. We want to be better than the way we were yesterday, isn't it? If you find this interesting, please subscribe to my channel. Just under this video, there's a red inscription that says subscribe. Click on it. A bell sign will appear. Click on it also so that you get notified anytime I post a new video. And I do that about two or three times every week. I really, really would love having you as a member of this channel. So please subscribe. Thank you so much. Today is a requested video. Somebody messaged me asking me to teach us how to tie the African rapper. And I'm like, hmm. You know, every African lady must learn how to tie a rapper. Rapper is rapper. You can say rapper. You know, with the African accent, we call it rapper. Rapper is that piece of fashion attire that women tie around their waist or around their chest. It is a very important fashion piece for every African woman. So if you're interested in the African culture, especially as regard fashion, then you must, 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 must learn how to tie the wrapper. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the different ways you can tie your wrapper, the two wrapper and the normal one wrapper. Please keep watching and don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Thank you. So the first wrapper we are going to be tying is the two wrapper. And as the name implies, you need two wrappers to tie this style of wrappers, the lower wrapper and the upper wrapper. Now, this fabric comes in like six yards and six yards are usually not enough. So women will add like some buff above the lower wrapper to give it some length. That's this white buff you are seeing above this wrapper and they use it to recognize or to differentiate the two wrappers. So the one with white buff is the lower wrapper. The next is to pat your feet. Make sure your feet is about one and a half foot apart so you'll be able to walk after tying this wrapper. If you don't do this, it will, like, you won't be able to walk because it will be too tight around your feet. So you begin to tie the wrapper by sliding the left side wrapper into your right hand side and tuck it beneath the right hand wrapper there then you move the right hand towards your left and tuck it just above the wrapper there then you need a scarf for this wrapper the scarf will help hold the wrapper in place so that it doesn't fall off in my tribe i am a jaw we call the scarf tupai whatever it is in your tribe please comment down below so you use your tupai to hold your wrapper in place firmly so this can stay all day long and it doesn't come off then begin to adjust your wrapper make sure everywhere is evenly tied the next thing you begin to do is to adjust your wrapper make sure the wrapper resembles skirts as much as possible even it out to make sure that it looks like a skirt no part is longer than the other part it must be equal and evenly tied as much as possible so the next move is to begin to tie your second wrapper, which is also the upper wrapper. There are three different styles you can tie to this upper wrapper. But the key thing you must know about this wrapper is that it's about, you tie it about nail length. While the lower wrapper falls down to your ankle, this wrapper goes to your nail. You tie it to your nail length or above the nail then like we did for the lower wrapper you begin the tying process by sliding the left side wrapper the left wrapper into your right and tuck it just beneath your right at the back there then move the right wrapper over to your left side adjust making sure everything is okay then you tuck it inside out just like so make sure the wrapper is tucked inside out firmly and tight then you begin to use your hand to adjust your wrapper like i said the key to this wrapper is that make sure it looks like a skirt try to make sure it's as evenly tied as possible it should look like a beautiful skirt so the third the second method to tie the upper wrapper like i said we are going to tie this upper wrapper three ways the second method to tie it is that you move your wrapper and make sure it is equal on both sides 
then you take one over the other like so and make sure that you have the two edges coming out like so. Take it behind you and tie it around your waists behind you. Just like so. The length will be about your knee length or above the knee, like I said. The second wrapper must be short. You see so? Pretty, isn't it? So the third way to tie this upper wrapper is like so. Make sure it is equal. Then you pull it up to be about your knee length or above your knee length. It depends on your own style. Then you drag the wrapper together and put it over each other and take it, twist it one more time over each other like so. Then you take one side backward. It's either you tie this other side to the other side, take the other side to, to the back and tie it, or you tuck it in like I'm doing now. I prefer to tuck it in like this because it's usually finer. It looks more like a skirt this way. Just very pretty. So this is a second, the third way you can tie your wrapper. So we are done with learning how to tie the two wrapper or the double wrapper let's go over to the single wrapper for the single wrapper of course you need just one piece now what you must know is that everything you learned how to tie that upper wrapper of the double wrapper are they also the three different styles or method you can tie this single wrapper the only thing is that sometimes you tie it longer and other times you tie it shorter depending on your style this one here is the shorter version and you see the three different methods that we tied that wrapper that's how you can tie this so the yorubas will hold, usually hold a second piece around their arms or put it over their shoulder or even tie it around their hips just to you know create some volume around their hips area by the way this wrapper was given to me by my grandmother may i so rest in peace may i sweet so rest in peace and i feel so happy to be able to use this wrapper for this purpose even if to teach just one person how to tie the two wrapper this is the longer method of tying the wrapper like i said you can tie it the other remaining two styles Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.